salam welcome back to the african diaspora news channel i am ungil zalalem bringing you the story today's story is a bit surprising to me at least um i've never heard of such a thing but apparently it's it's normal in uh, especially in muslim countries so nigeria specifically kano state is banning mannequins from being put in front of their stores um, or at least you have to remove the head part of the mannequin and just show the body because they say it is promoting adultery so most people backed it up the ones that are living in kano state but uh, some people are against it as well as other religions are not happy with that because you know they don't believe in what's being passed so I said it's interesting because I've never heard of it. Now I know and I've heard in other Islamic countries uh, the same thing happens, not everywhere, but some of them exercise this. They do not believe um, mannequins should show their faces or their hairs because they believe it's going to be a distraction or a sin. So that's what Nigeria is trying to do so far. They haven't enforced it um, or they didn't go uh, checking who has the mannequins to t either take them away or arrest the people or destroy the mannequins but some people are really not happy they don't want to disclose who they are they gave interview to BBC but you know it's understandable what if tomorrow the police knocks at their door and tries to harass them so I understand that but um, I will try to be careful because I don't want to disrespect anybody's religion or beliefs um, so just bear with me I, I'm trying to talk as <laughs> as slowly as I can so that I can get my point across um, I understand that's what they're believing but my question to you and to them is how about the other people you're enforcing this in a whole state where other religions other people live with you you know um, so is it really fair to do that um, if you say it is fair let let us know down below why you think that is uh, but personally I, I would if I was a shop uh, keeper or a person that has a boutique I will buy those mannequins that have no face but I know it's a cost then most people can't afford them so just get something that is just through blank nothing is there if it's going to make the other people uncomfortable I mean we're a community we can work together um, but to cut the head off I understand one shopkeeper said if I don't put the head like it won't look natural and it won't be as attractive I want people to come and buy from my business but if I don't have mannequin they don't know what to see they don't know what my clothes will look like on them so they won't enter that is losing me money um so he was not happy about that but to give those people maybe advice if they can afford it just put i see these mannequins they're just smooth i don't know why they do that they have a face structure of course but maybe even that is a no-no for the muslim authorities maybe even that is too much i'm not sure uh, but if it's blank you see they they can't tell is it a man or a woman like there's nothing maybe that's the case but that, i don't know if that's the only case because in gaza i just read the they didn't want the whole mannequins to be present because they said it shows off the body of the female and the parts and they just did not approve of that so i understand why the shopkeepers the shop owners are not happy about it as well as other people the community because they feel like they're not being heard or they're not being represented um so i i thought this was bizarre because it's new to me not because I think what they're doing is crazy but because I've never heard about this before and people finding mannequins like a sin like associating them with that and not wanting them to be visible in their countries never knew that I was today years old finding that out so that's why I thought it was bizarre but I guess to each his own I just hope all of uh, the people that are living in that area can agree and decide on what can make everyone happy it might be hard to find um, something that would work for everyone but as I said my suggestion is find those mannequins that don't have any face and um, just put up put them up there and they're bold there's nothing attractive about them 
so hopefully the authorities won't harass you i'm just saying anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about mannequins being banned in kano state in nigeria i'm Ongir Zalal. i'm bringing you the story i'll see you on the next one bye join me on the fourth annual homecoming and pilgrimage to sierra leone on december 28 2021 through january 9 2022 we will be exploring this beautiful country and eligible individuals will be receiving Sierra Leonean citizenship and passports. For more details, check out our website, sierraleonepilgrimage.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Go Ham Lifestyle Vlogs, because we all need an Africa escape plan. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.